All right, we have a new one in today, and I'm super excited. This is Nero, and he is a young Doberman pup. Uh, probably, I think my favorite, my favorite breed, favorite breed, is the Doberman, and he is totally awesome. I've had him for, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes, and we are already working on the little obstacle course. And we'll show you where he's at real quick and uh, so you can kind of follow along and see how he progresses. This is his first day of anything. He's super excited and you're going to see him in a second. He's super excitable, uh, high food drive, pulls like crazy on the leash. But this is why I start doing these obstacle courses so he starts learning to work with me and not against me and pulling and has to pay attention to me a little bit. Work on some focus. Good boy. Okay, come on. Uh-uh. Good. Place. Good. Come on. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Place, yes. Sit, good. Good, stay. Good. Good. Okay. Up. Yes, good. Good. Okay. Up. Good. Come on. Yes. Sit. Beautiful. You're beautiful. Good boy. Yes. Yes. So this whole time I've been doing this, it's been the same routine. Uh-uh. Sit. Oh, come on. Yes. Sit. It's been the same routine, the same commands. This is all one big pattern to him. Everything with dog training is a pattern. It's repetition. And consistency until they have it and then you start building on it and adding new things good so when we first started this when I would say stay stay good I could take a half a step back before he was jumping off this thing because this platform was even new to him Good. Okay. So, 
I'm also, if you notice, I'm using a little prong collar because he pulls, he pulled so bad. Let me see if we can get a, that's a little bit better. Uh, he pulled so bad that he would just wouldn't listen at all. So anything I would, but this prong collar, I put it on just a couple little boop, 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 and he starts at least looking at me. And that's all I'm looking for is for him to look at me. Nope. Good. For him to look at me and give me some eye contact so I can reward him. And so we can start the process of him looking at me to get a reward. And once you start getting some eye contact, then you can start uh, teaching them things and, and having them pay attention and following commands and looking at you. But eye contact is the most important thing. This whining he's doing, that's going to stop too. If you hear that whining he's doing, that's just anxiety. This is his first day. He doesn't know what's going on so much, but he's already doing this obstacle and walking up that plank. And it's just from doing the same thing over and over again. I bet it took us 15 to 20 tries of going up that plank. First time, I just lined that plank up with food and let him walk up it very slowly and take little bits of food all the way up. Uh -uh. The second time, it was half that much food. The third time, maybe two pieces at the very top. And then after that, he's just walking up it and getting rewarded at the top of the plank. Good. Let's go. Yes. Sit. Yes. Good. Good. Now we come around behind him so he doesn't get spooked and he's comfortable from being petted from all angles. Good. Nope. Good. Good. Good boy. Okay. Place. Yes. Eye contact. Sit. Yes. Stay. We got the eye contact. Stay. Nope. Ah, good. So when we get up, it's no big deal. We just start over. He does not get rewarded. Sit. Stay. Hey. Stay. Good. Stay. Good. Now notice what I'm not doing which most people do when they teach a dog to stay, I'm not doing this. Stay. Stay. Stick. It'll take you forever. Come on. Nope. Sit. Sit. Good. Good. I don't want to have to sit there and look at my dog when I'm telling him to stay, if that makes any sense. I want to be able to just tell him to stay and kind of walk off, but still look at him in the corner of my eye when we're first starting. So he knows, because when you tell your dog to stay, it's because you have something else to uh -uh. Sit. Sit. Good. When you tell your dog to stay, it's because you have something else you need to go do and you're not going to be watching them. So we just start off Stay. Not really looking at him, not paying any attention to him. Good. Rewarding them. But they know I'm paying attention to him regardless, even if I'm not looking at him. Stay. Good. Okay. 
So there's a good long video with Nero the Doberman. This is his first day, guys. These dogs are, they're awesome. Um, what more can I say about you? Come here, kiddo. Good boy. Good. Notice he's not really jumping up on me already. He was at first. We've already kind of established that. Um, now it's this, this whining and the, oh, 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 that kind of stuff he's doing. But uh, that will go away as he matures, obviously, and as he gets more confident and comfortable. So uh, there is Nero's first day, and he's already taken off like a, like a champ. All right, toodles.